I bought today. No, it's not your channel. Okay. You can show them. I know. You know, like you know your record, right? Yeah, I know your record. That's so rude. You, you, you got me. You had to convince me. Put this, better put this in the whatever. You had to convince me to be in your video. Then I told you that I went shopping and I got something really pretty and I wanted to share with your viewers. And you said, no, that's so rude. Do you guys like this, by the way? I got it from New Look. Go to New Look, guys, in your neck of the woods. They are doing loads of sales. Do you want me to tell them the other things I bought? No. Okay. To, to TMI, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's Danielle here, and I'm here with Something Beautiful too. my mom. Um, so today we're going to be react reacting lit, lit, to... Lit. We're going to be reacting to I'm Not Racist by Jordan and Luc Lucas. I hope you get a really good reaction to it. And before it starts, right... It's the same person singing the whole thing, so don't get offended when the white guy starts to say a few things, right? Okay. I'm Let's really go. confused. With all due respect, I don't have pity for you black niggas. That's the way I feel. Screaming black lives matter, all the black guys rather be dead beats than pay your bills. Yelling nigga this and nigga that. Call everybody nigga and get a nigga mad. As soon as I say nigga, then everyone react and wanna swing at me and call me racist cause I ain't black. And pound that then. Talking about slavery like it was around back then. What'd you have to say so what, far? What's he doing? <laughs> what the is he doing? He's is he okay, is he are you gonna like give me a heads up? What is this about? Is he angry? Is he for Basically, us or against it's us? Jonah Luke is trying to Show this Jonah Lucas. He's 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 a black guy. And he's trying to show there's two sides, like the stereotypes on both sides, like what everyone thinks about and then at the end you'll see what happened. He's a black guy, it doesn't look black to me. Not this one. There's a guy singing in the whole thing and he and these two are just the voices of the of like playing it out. Okay. Let's continue, you see. Okay. Like he was picking cotton off the fucking ground back then. Like he was on the plantation getting down back then. I see a black man aiming his gun, but I'd rather see a black man claiming his son. And I don't mean just for one day and you're done, I mean, you still trapped in a rut. I work my ass off and pay my taxes for what? So you can keep living on free government assistance, food stands for your children, but you still trying to sell them for some weed and some liquor or a fucking babysitter while you party on the road cause you ain't got no fucking goals. You already late, and you motherfuckers need to get your damn priority straight. Wait. It's like you're proud to be fake, but you lazy as fuck. And you Do you get it now? It's like the stereotypes that white people have against the black people in America. Okay. But like all as a whole. As a whole, but but what 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 you're trying to say is that it's still there are some things that are the truth. Th yeah, there's some things that are the truth. But we don't want to realize it. We only get angry when whites come for come us. Come for us, but that's it. We should actually go for ourselves as well. He just said, um, I see a black man aiming his gun, but I'd rather see a black guy you. claiming his son. I told Does that you. that make sense? I told you. I'd rather sell drugs and get a job and be straight. And then you turn around and complain about the poverty rate. The fuck out of my face! We can't escape problems. You can pray for some change, but can't break a dollar. You got nobody else to blame, so you blame Donald. You fuck the world with a make America great condom. My boy's been back. I'm not racist. My sister's boyfriend's black. I'm not racist. My sister-in-law's baby cousin Tracy got a brother and his girlfriend's black. My head's in the cloud. Heard it's not a Do people say that to you? Which one? I'm not racist. I got a brother and his girlfriend's back or something like that. The problem is I just won't even give them the space to be racist to me because I'm not cheap. Sorry. So you know what I mean? I, I don't even have this conversation with people in terms of do you understand what I'm saying? Because from the onset, I already let them know that I'm too strong to take it. So they, instead, I will actually crack the racist jokes. Enough jobs for all the men in your house. Maybe we should build a wall to keep the Mexicans out. Or maybe we should send them all to the ghetto for now. I'm not racist. And I never lie, but I think there's a disconnect between your culture and mine. I worship the Einsteins. Study the Steve Jobs, but you ride Tupac's dick like he was a fucking god. Oh my god. And all you care about is rapping and stunting and being ratchet. And that's the nigga within you. Music right in your brain and slowly start to convince you. And you let your kids listen and then the cycle continues. Blame it all on the menu. Blame it on no drinks. Blame it on everybody except for your own race. Blame it on white privileges. Blame it on white kids. And just blame it on white citizens. Aim it the vice president. <laughs> Bunch of class clowns. Niggas standing on the field. That's a flag down. How dare you try to make demands for this money? You gon' show us some respect. You gon' stand for this country, nigga. That was the part that everyone got really mad at. 
before they realized that um it was one person singing the whole song yeah the, the, the problem I have is um, there's more to there's <clears throat> you know in our in our culture right Adana because you guys haven't really been in Africa to know there's what you also call tribalism mm -hmm. which is kind of a Nigerian racism if I want, want to say that you know in Nigeria you have different tribes and so sometimes you people don't want you to marry between the tribes so racism is bigger than white and black you also have uh, you also have class racism in terms of class as well where you have the middle class blacks not really want to be associated with the culture of the ghetto blacks in terms of they will probably let their kids wear the hoods you know the hooded tees and all that so it's bigger than this song I, I'm not angry at it because I'm not also one of those people that will also always pull the racist card I really hate when people pull the racist card do do better like I went in school because I don't want to be in the stereo in the the basic stereotype of blacks don't amount to anything so that's why i went to school that's why i got my masters that's why i i want to be on top so you really can't approach me and be rude to me and say oh you're black that's why you're useless does that make sense mm -hmm. because there's already that understanding that the black people are in the ghetto the louis shams of london the bad places in london why you have the whites living in the in the choice areas like the sorries and stuff that's wrong you also have whites living like the footballers live in the good areas of the UK as well. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe I'm talking too much. Oh. I'm not racist. I'm just prepared for this type of war. I heard Eminem's rap at the awards. Who's he fighting for? Y'all can take that motherfucker too. He ain't white. I'll no show more. you the rap. It's like you wanna be so famous. You'll do anything for attention and a little payment. I can't take you nowhere without people pointing fingers. Pants hanging off your ass. You ain't got no home training. Put your fucking pants up, nigga. Put that suit back on. Take that do rag off. Take that gun out your mouth. Quit the pitiful stuff. And then maybe police. I'm not racist. It's like we're living in the same building but splitting the two floors. I'm not racist. But there's two sides of every story. I wish that I knew yours. Now the black guy's about to tell he's his about story. to tell his story. And um, okay, I see. Wait, I, I understand the song now. This is how they see us. Yeah. This is what they think we should do to get out of. That's to that we should stop stereotyping ourselves and saying oh the white people are against us right because they don't get us right yeah. so the black person now is going to respond technically i wish that i knew yours i'm not racist i swear with all disrespect i don't really like you white motherfuckers that's just where i'm at Screaming all lives matter is a protest to my protest. What kind of shit is that? And that's one war you'll never win. The power in the word nigga is a different saying. We shouldn't say it, but we do, and that's just what it is. But that don't mean that you can say it just cause you got nigga friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that word was originated for you to keep us under. And when we use it, we know that's just how we greet each other. And when you use it, we know there's a double meaning under. What do you think about that? Do you think we should be allowed to say that word in our songs and stuff just cause we're black? Or are we kind of okaying it. If you notice I'm laughing because I'm on my team at work I'm actually allowed to tell racist jokes but they're not, they're not allowed to they're say not, it, yeah. yeah. I can say darling. Yeah. Because I'm black, you can sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops. Mm -hmm. And even if I wasn't picking cotton physically, that don't mean I'm not affected by the history. My grandmama was a slave, that shit gives to me and you ain't got no motherfucking sympathy, you pussy nigga it's quite I'm sorry you can't understand this kind of the problem I have I does not swearing is the swearing why do we have to a lot of black songs there's a lot of swearing in it it's the anger is to let out the anger no like, like, there are other ways to let out the anger how about go to school how about you know put it into education or something how about stop you know running the streets with drugs and stuff sometimes I really want to be a little bit racist and just tell ourselves the truth. Why swear in our songs? Why call the women bitches? A bitch is a dog in heat. I don't but they, know. But they, they do it to white people do it as well. No, but it's a black culture. It's more of a black cultural thing. 
Okay. Let's okay. Continue. I feel alright. It's hard to elevate when this country's ran by whites, judging me by my skin color and my blackness. Trying to find a job, but ain't nobody call me back yet. Now I gotta sell drugs and put food in my cabinet. You crackers ain't slipping. This is all a part of your tactics. Don't talk about no motherfucking taxes. But I ain't making no dough. You think you know everything, but you don't. You wanna copy our slang and everything that we know. Try to steal black culture and make it your own. Whoa. Fuck, I'm exhausted. I can't even drive without the cops trying to start shit. I'm tired of this systematic racism bullshit. All you do is fall shit. This is shit that I'm false with. And you don't know shit about my people. That's what bothers you. You don't know about no fried chicken and no barbecue. You don't know about the two step or no loose change. You don't know about no two chains or no Kool Aid. You don't know. And even though Barack was half as black, you hated President Obama. I know that's a fact. You can't wait to get him out and put a cracker back. And then you gave us Donald Trump, and that was payback for that. Now you like it. Now you see. Oh now you see what the hype is about. Okay, then. It's I'm, like I'm it's not like saying so anything. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm just spotting my hair. I'm just I feel here. like everything I'm you say makes sense. I'm just sipping my coffee. I'm not gonna say anything. But I might be any day now. Treating everybody how you want in any way how. I swear no career about the bonus any day now. And now I'm ducking every time I hear a fucking play now. <laughs> You know I make a lot of sense, but you just can't admit it. Whatever that went against Trump, that was the illest. Cause even though he's white, he let us know he's staying with us. I'm not racist, but I cry a lot. You don't know what it's like to be in a frying pot. Okay. You don't know. I want to say something that just came to me when I, when we moved to the UK, right? The reason, one of the reasons why we left Ireland is because the racism there was horrible. Uh, we're keeping it real because this song is out, so let's be real, okay? Now, when I moved here, I worked in two companies, two big financial services companies. I was the only black woman on the team. And each time I knew that I wasn't a fit because when they tell you you're not a fit for the team It means that culturally you're not a fit period. I was the only black person because I wasn't you know going out to drink with them Sweetie, I don't drink. I don't get drunk. I don't fall around the place So the same way they feel that the blacks have this stereotyping is the same way I feel that whites drink too much. I feel that you know our cultures are different so it's difficult to be a black person on an all-white team because all the time you will find yourself struggling to fit in. So this is everywhere, really. Racism is both ways. What it's like to mind your business and get stopped by the cops and I know if you about to die or not. You worry about your life, so you take mine. I love you, but I fucking hate you at the same time. I wish we could trade shoes and we could change lives and we can understand each other more, but that'll take time. I'm not racist. It's like we living in the same building, but splitting to both sides. I'm not racist. But there's two sides of every story and now you know mine Just watch, just watch this end bit right and don't cry because I, I, I did when I first watched it Can't erase the scars with a bandage I'm hoping maybe we can come to an understanding I'm not gonna cry again Agree to disagree, we can have an understanding I'm not racist Tearing up, right? I'll tell you. If you pause, I'll tell you. <laughs> I thought that there was a time in Dublin when you, you were on a buggy, and I'll be waiting for the bus, and the bus will come and pass me by, and I'll look in, and the bus is empty, and it's raining, and they didn't stop because I was a black woman with a black kid in a black in a buggy. So when you watch things like that, sometimes it takes you back. Yeah. yeah. Let's watch the end. <laughs> now look at this. We were all humans until race disconnected us, religion separated us, politics divided us, wow, and wealth classified us. Wow. You like it, don't you? Yeah, I do. It's a bit sad. It is a bit sad. Mm. So guys, thank you for watching that video. My mum had some very good points you know i hope you enjoyed that and um i'll link her go subscribe to my channel her channel in the description Something beautiful too 
Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and we'll do more reactions in the future. Bye. Bye. And like, subscribe, tell us you like the video. Say something about the song as well, guys. Bye.